Good morning, everybody. The <laughs> I don't know what happened. Good morning. Okay, let me start again. Good morning, everybody. The weather here in South Texas is fabulous, and we got inspired to do our makeovers on our back patios, right? Yeah, we've really been wanting to. Um, oh, there's a mosquito. We've really been wanting to refresh our back patio, you know, got through our winter season, and now it's time to bring in everything that we've always wanted to a little outdoor oasis. Alexandria and Edna Posada, mother-daughter team. And today you're gonna get to follow us on what inspired us, what we used to inspire us, maybe some of the things where we shopped, yeah, and how we put our looks together for our back patio. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and you can follow us on Instagram here. So I'm finally making time to redo this patio. I have been in my house for almost four years and you know, one part of the house always gets neglected and for me it's been my poor little patio. Um, I don't really have a whole lot going on, but I have like my two chairs that I love, my table and my sofa. Uh, so yeah. Let's see if we can make this look beautiful. Emptied out the space, and so now we're gonna go get this rug that we bought at Target. Um, see if it works in the space. Clean the space, now we need to roll out the rug. So since I can't carry the rug, <laughs> this calls for muscles. Yeah, and obviously I am not that. So, let's hope it works. Um, it looks perfect with the furniture I already had, which I got my furniture set at, ah, I got my furniture set, sorry for almost dropping the camera, furniture set at Sam's last year. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. And so now, um, you know, my mom really helped me in coming up with the colors that we were going to use. So can you kind of yeah, we decided that um, it's always wise to really be looking at, you know, three colors. And I think it's real important, you know, since her windows face, you know, from her living room out to the back patio, we decided that we were really going to stick to the same thing that she's got inside, basically very neutral, black, white, slash cream um, with some gray. And so we're really excited to show you how we're putting it all together. And uh, I know... Um, we have a couple of different things that we bought at different places, and we will be sharing that as well. Yeah, so the rug came from Target, which I got on sale. So I think Target will still be having a sale going on, so you guys can check yeah. that out. They're having their they're having their annual patio sale right now, so perfect. perfect. And then now we're going to add this table, which we got at, at home. In case you guys haven't been there, it is amazing. They have furniture, they have patio decor, they have faux plants, they have absolutely everything. And it just really, I, we needed a space to be able to put a drink if you're sitting on here because it's a little far from the other table, but really, really liked that. And the big joke with me is that I may not have the greenest thumb, so I need really, really easy plants. And in case you know, it's not, it's not that. She kills everything. Okay, rude. So we got a um, faux fiddle leaf, which I've been dying for a fiddle leaf. I killed my real one. And in case you don't know, I do have a pet pig. Her name is Piggy Azalea, and she has a thing for leafy greens, so we have to be careful with that. Adding the pillows, um, the beige colored pillows that um, are there, they actually come from a local furniture store named Viva, which a really good family friend of ours, Marielsa. Shout out to Marielsa for my really cute pillows. And then my other pillow, which is so cute, and it was a gift from my mom. It says, I'm, I'm, so <laughs> I'm so stuck on you, so cute, and it came from Home Goods, one of our favorite stores. Yeah. Zena, how are you liking it? I think so too. My artwork 
artwork I already had. We used these pillows that were gifted to me. This amazing rug that we picked up at Target. Like I said, we like to entertain. So with this super cute faux plant and I have this really beautiful um, ladder and picture that my amazing boyfriend bought me. Thanks, babe. And I am just so in love with the way the whole patio turned out. I can't wait to spend some time out here. Let's go outside. Oh my gosh. Come on. Hey, Peggy. <laughs> hey, little mama. Hey, my little Peggy girl. Hey. hey. Good girl. So, Peggy, what do, you, what do you think of the new patio area? You love it, huh? I do too. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, what I think she likes it. I do too. Good girl. So this is the final look. Don't you love it? I absolutely love it. I can't wait to spend more time out here entertaining. Um, I love that we were really mindful of picking things because I do have two animals. Like I said, I have my little teacup Yorkie, Xena, and I have a little pig named Piggy Azalea, which you'll see in a little bit. But the rug is an easy, um, it's an indoor-outdoor rug, so you can just wash it with water, just hose it down, and everything else, actually, everything, you've got some umbrella fabric on your patio um, set, you've yeah. got the metal tables, easily uh, cleanable, so that way, because sometimes it really is a zoo out here. It really is, so one patio down, one more to go, we'll see you guys at our house. Okay, well, one house down, yours is done. Yep. Now it's my turn, and I know that we had looked at, what, Pinterest for some, um, I guess, inspiration, and again, sticking to our basic three-color rule, we stuck to um, black, taupe, and some ivory and white in it too, keeping it neutral, because my back patio is right here next to my living room, and so those are the colors that I have there and I really want to bring that same vibe back out. Yeah, because we all, it doesn't matter, but we also like coming back to mom's house and hanging out here and, you know, eating food, having cocktails, whatever it may be. So she's really trying to have this space so that we can all kind of hang out here at the same time. So, let's so I got started this patio set I've had for probably, ah, I hate to say it, but probably about 18 years. And it was very traditional looking, so I went ahead and got some umbrella fabric and just had the cushions redone because I'm a big believer of repurposing. And then I just had these spray painted black. Um, I've had these lanterns already also for a number of years. And then these planters over here, I actually bought these from a client uh, probably about 20 years ago. I always try to support other women in business and so I had these and now I really want to put them into use here on my back patio. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Good thing I've been working out because this bench is a little heavy but it's, I'm really excited to put it together. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we'll show you a little bit what it looks like and it'll be a great addition for extra seating. Cool, and I think she's thinking about adding the bench right here under the window just so it, it has its own little space to kind of, its own little area. window and now I'm going to put the cushions on and start layering rugs and everything else to help put this place back together again. So 
So I'm really liking this rug. We got it at Target. Um, it was on their, you know, with their patio sale. And I like it because it's got all of the colors that I'm using. But it's a little bit more kind of, ur uh, well, I guess urban, modern. And that way it doesn't look traditional. And I'm really trying for more of a transitional look. But I like it because it's neutral. And I can just, again, hose it down if it gets dirty. Okay, it's time to accessorize and I got some plants, um, we got some at Home Depot, believe it or not I got some at Sam's and um, I think some beautiful ferns, some snake plants and all of the other little layering pieces that we're going to put together. A great way to add pizzazz is to add some plants to this beautiful fern and then some layering pieces. Um, I'm going to try them over here so that way I'll put some candles for evening functions. You love it. And don't forget, you can bring things from indoors to the outside to make things look really nice and cozy out here. And so I got these six from Hobby Lobby. Um, because I already had this vase that I had purchased from at home and uh, home goods. Oh, was it home goods? Yeah. We shop at all of those places and we love them. And then I got this cute mat from Target from their Project 62 line. And I'm really liking that. Again, the colors are all really um, blending together really well. And then I already had this little, um, I guess this little throw that's again in the same color wave and I think it just looks really cute and starts making that whole corner really nice and cozy. I was really feeling that I was really needing, I guess, an organic piece to, you know, we're outside nature, and I found this beautiful bowl, and so we'll tie that into our tablescape once we get ready to sit down, maybe have a couple of cocktails. So the goal this year was to really spend more time with my friends and family, relaxing, enjoying things. And in, and in doing this patio, I think it really um, is going to help me accomplish that, you know, by adding a few plants, bringing a little bit of the indoors outside to make it nice and cozy for everyone, have a nice little seating arrangement. And I love the fact that I was able to repurpose so many things and um, create these, this area that really is gonna make it a lot of fun to be out here barbecuing, grilling with the friends and family. And honestly, I'm really happy with the way this all turned out. There you have it. We're really happy with the results. I know that you're looking forward to having some parties. So I certainly am too, and we hope that we inspired you to, you know, really take a little bit of time um, and look to see what look you like, and then, honestly, it didn't take us that long. No, it really did. It was one day, one full day of shopping, but that was for both of our houses. No, and, and that, I can tell you, was a lot of shopping. We went yeah, everywhere. We really did. And then putting together, we put each patio together in about an hour. Yeah. So it's perfect if you're getting ready to have company over because it's really not going to take you that long. You'd go shopping after work and then put it together the next morning and you'd be good to go. Yeah, or take a weekend, you know, take a morning off and, and do it. But honestly, I am totally in love with my patio and I'm so looking forward to having my very first party out here for the year. So let us know if you want to see more videos like this in terms of decor or lifestyle. Let us know in the comment section down below. Like I said before, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.